Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone keeps going through this Apple logo boot loop thing. Now this happens for a ton of different reasons, but specifically right now, a lot of people are updating to iOS 15 and you may be having these types of issues on your devices. So let me go ahead and break down easily pretty much the basic way to fix it. All you will need to do is make sure you have an iPhone, a lightning connector so you can connect your iPhone to your computer and make sure you have a MacBook Windows that has iTunes installed or the files app if you're on Mac. Mac OS Mojave or newer, it could be Mac OS Catalina. But as long as you have iTunes or some way to go ahead and plug in your iPhone to your computer, then you're set. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go straight onto your iPhone and you want to go ahead and hold down a set of buttons. Now it's a little bit different on each iPhone, so I'll go ahead and paste exactly on the display is the process to do this. So if you have an iPhone 8 or newer or later what they say, essentially if you have an iPhone 10, 10s, you know, iPhone 12, what you want to do is you want to press and release the volume up button, you want to press and release the volume down button, and then you want to press and hold the side button. While you keep holding the side button, you want to wait until the recovery mode screen pops up. Now if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you want to press and hold the both the volume down button and the sleep wake button at the same time and you want to keep holding the volume down button until you see the recovery mode screen pop up. Now if you have an iPhone 6 or earlier, so if you have an iPhone 6s, a 6, a iPhone 5s, whatever the case is, then you want to go ahead and press and hold both the sleep wake button, the power button on the side, and the home button and you want to keep holding the home button until you see the recovery mode screen pop up. Now the recovery mode screen is essentially a little icon on the front of your display. It shows you like basically plugging into iTunes or something along those lines. It's a very popular thing. I think most of you know by now. Now what you want to do is you want to plug in your iPhone to your computer as of this point. So you want to grab your lightning connector. You want to plug it straight into your computer and your iPhone. And what will happen is iTunes or the files app, it will automatically determine when you have an iPhone plugged in that's, you know, kind of faulty, aka if it's stuck in restore mode. And essentially all you have to do is is allow iTunes to either restore your iPhone or update your iPhone. Now, realistically, you're not probably going to be able to recover a majority of things on your phone unless you did an iCloud backup or anything like that, which I will always recommend you guys to do. But if not, Snapchats, Google Photos, a lot of these apps already have your stuff backed up anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So what you want to do as at this point is essentially click update. Now, it's going to go ahead and see if your iPhone can go ahead and update to uh, you know the next version of software. And if you're lucky, this may actually end up working. Now, most of the time, this doesn't work for me it doesn't work half the time anyway so i will always have to go ahead and restore my iphone so what this looks like is essentially we'll go ahead and download the latest version of the software to your computer and it'll go ahead and essentially update your iPhone and install that software on your specific device. So it's a very basic process. It really doesn't take, you know, a crazy amount of effort. You will always just make sure your phone is fully plugged into your computer at all times. If it unplugs, it can cause some issues. You'll probably have to restart this whole process. So make sure it's plugged in the whole time. And sooner than later, your phone will eventually boot back up and you will actually be able to use your iPhone as it was before. So that's essentially the process. Very basic, doesn't take too much time but like i mentioned it can be a little hassle when you don't go ahead and your phone is constantly booting up over and over again so that's essentially it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much for you guys can hit that more importantly everything else all of every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then